Hello Puff Lovers, so today I have uh, an interesting video. I'm quite nervous, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be... I've seen this a lot on YouTube and I've always wanted to do it when I've seen other people do it. Basically, I asked you guys to send in your confessions and secrets and I'm going to be reading them and reacting to them, not judging, and it's gonna be anonymous. I mean, I might judge a little bit, just like a teeny bit, but... I'm, I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> Maybe I'll even throw in one of my own confessions in the middle of this and not tell you guys when it is. So yeah, with that said, as always, if you guys enjoy my videos, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and follow me on all my social media. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. I've liked my boy best friend for almost two years and I haven't told him. I don't know what to even say in this situation because that's so hard to even do something about if it's been that long. I feel this. I mean, I don't think I've held in my feelings for that long because I literally can't. I tell myself I'm gonna be like, I'm not gonna tell them my feelings. And then literally like a day later, I'm like, I'm in love with you. And I feel like in these situations, it just gets harder and harder the more time goes by. Anyway, um, good luck. <laughs> I borrow so much extra useless stuff like toys, extra electronics, etc. So, so you steal. <laughs> because borrow is in quotes and I don't know where you borrow toys from. I'm not gonna give props to you for stealing, but just don't get caught, I guess. Not a police siren right outside my window just a second. Don't do that, I guess, because they're listening. I forged my mom's signature in kindergarten and she still doesn't know. I, I, I don't even know, okay. So there's a lot to unpack here. Why did you need to forge your mom's signature? How did you do it in kindergarten? And how did no one notice? <laughs> I feel like in kindergarten it's like the paper, like if someone needs to sign a paper, they don't hand it out to the kid, they hand it to the parents when they pick them up. But I mean, that's kind of, skillful that you as like a child were able to forge your mom's signature. These are- I, I shouldn't be saying these as if it's positive. <laughs> I just- I just kind of want to know like what events led up to you having to forge your mom's signature as like a six-year-old or something. I've liked this guy for four years and we barely talk to each other. Oh god. Move on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say it. If you barely talk to someone and you like them for four years and you've not made a move and they've not made a move, I think it's time to move on. That is too much. Having a crush on the same guy as my best friend has actually made us closer. That seems like an interesting way of saying you're a thruple now, but um, I don't think that's what they actually meant, but I do see how that could work. You know, I feel like in that kind of scenario, the best case is that the other person isn't interested in either person, because then at least you don't have to have that kind of Oh, but I also like them and they didn't go for me. But I mean, you seem to have it all figured out, so... T. I am dating my math teacher and I'm going out with him and my parents don't know. Remember those police sirens? One time, me and my friends once broke a heater and it started to break. Uh, I'm not fully sure <laughs> what that means, but I think... Your heater is broken. Don't really know anything more. Hope it got fixed. I don't know. <laughs> Let me just have a swig of this coffee. I don't brush my teeth in the morning. I guess I can confess this too, kind of. I do use like Listerine, like a really strong mouthwash, and I do floss, but I don't always brush my teeth. So I kind of am with you there. I killed my sister's hamster on accident. I threw textbooks on the bed and squish. She doesn't know. Okay, I read this one too fast and I thought it said I killed my sister. How does she not know? Does she not know it's dead or does she not know you did it? I mean, it wasn't on purpose, I hope. Yeah, I think you're fine, but maybe don't tell them. <laughs> Terrible advice. <laughs> I've cheated my way through almost all of my tests this year. What should I say here that doesn't make it sound like I'm giving props to you for cheating, but also I'm not shaming you for cheating? Someone said I used to spray perfume in my mouth when I was three years old because I thought I'd have fresh breath. Good thing you didn't get poisoned. Let's just say that. See, this is what I mean. Kids, we were all so stupid. Why? Why are kids allowed? At night before bed, I put on a crown and strut around my room. 
Did someone submit a confession from me? I really didn't want to confess this, but I thought f**k it. So I'm a 23 year old virgin, and I always lie because people are so judgmental. Just let me wait till I'm comfy. <sighs> that is so sad that people are judging about that. Like, people will be all, like, sex positive and all that, but then judge someone for not having sex, which is just stupid and you're fine. Yeah, good on you for waiting till you're comfortable. I am not subscribed. <laughs> well, you still have a chance to do it. <laughs> I always thought people couldn't completely see street signs until a few feet in front of them. Oh my god, so you needed glasses and you didn't know. You thought it was normal to not be able to see them. Well, I hope you figured that out before you started driving because or else that would be bad. I broke off a six-year relationship. I can't even imagine being with someone for six years. I, I feel like I'm such a different person, but I mean, I'm still quite young, I guess. Half a decade. Wait, is the decade 10 years? I accidentally told my mom I wanted to be railed by Sebastian Stan. How do you accidentally tell your mom that? What? I want to know how that conversation went. It's like, oh, what are you up to, honey? Oh, nothing. I just want to be railed by Sebastian Stan. I, I have no idea how you got to that point. One time in kindergarten, I threw a printer at my teacher. What are you guys doing in kindergarten? Like, <laughs> what? Also, that's pretty strong for like a kindergarten kid, isn't it? Because the printer is quite heavy. I have webbed toes. Not gonna lie, that's kind of sick. You must be swimming, like, so fast. Or maybe it's just in the way, but anyway, that's kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. I once vomited on someone's dick, and he didn't notice, and will never know. The thing is, guys, I know the person who sent this in. <laughs> Oh my god. Did he not feel it? No, I'm not even gonna go there. Okay, well, you're talented for not having him notice, let's just say that. Or maybe he did notice, but he didn't want to embarrass you. <sighs> I need a whole minute to process that. I once spiked my teacher's coffee with a laxative whilst they weren't looking. Okay, not the worst because coffee is already a laxative. I just can't imagine, like imagine the teacher just mid-class is just like and like they have to leave and you just know that it was your fault I think I would be freaking out the whole time oh my god cleaning the bathroom I put the toothbrushes low down my dog chewed on my brother's toothbrush I still kept it a secret there are people that let their dogs lick their mouths which I think is absolutely disgusting you know what it's not the worst because you kind of like wash your toothbrush before you brush so it's not that bad Still kind of gross though. A guy called my boobs his Xbox controllers while we made out and I left after that. I would leave too. What the hell? <laughs> I'm so sick of the elections, like we get it, vote, but not everyone is from the US. I understand where this is coming from, but at the same time, like, this is kind of crucial and people's lives are at stake, so I think I'd take being tired over the election than endangering people. I sometimes join my Zoom class and once they turn the attendance in, I leave and sleep. I feel like that would be me in school right now if I had to do online lectures. I could not be bothered. The local bookstore didn't have a restroom and in short, I ended up going behind a dumpster and then a poop emoji. I just imagine some poor old freaking bookstore employee walking out there with the trash and then just seeing a big old dump. Did you take a book and wipe or what? Well, how was that situation? I have so many questions. <sighs> I found mysterious white stuff on my shorts and licked it. It turned out to be deodorant. Almost puked. That could have been so many things. Um, I don't know why you decided to lick it, but here we are. <laughs> if I lived in the USA, I would vote Trump. I said I wasn't gonna judge. I said I wasn't gonna judge. I'm judging. I low-key hate all my friends because they're toxic as hell. I've got a few good ones though. Oh, that is such a shame. Like if you're in a group and you feel like your other friends are toxic. I hope you can figure it out or have conversations with them about how you feel um, because that is a very tricky situation. I slashed the tires on my Trump supporting stepdad's car on election day because he sucks. I'm not saying do it, but oh my God, that is kind of iconic. Not gonna lie. <laughs> 
And the last one, I would park this Big Mac truck right in that little garage. I also know who submitted that, so there we go. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Honestly though, that was actually really fun and um, uh, I need to like go lay down and have some time to process all this But thank you all so much for participating and if you guys enjoyed this video Please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and let me know would you want another video like this because I had a lot of fun doing it um, And yeah, anyways, that's it. I love you guys so much <laughs> Goodbye